Pop quiz. What is the most important thing in life? Wealth? Fame? Family? Wrong, wrong, and wrong. Three words for you, friend. Sexy anime babes. I mean, isn't that what life is really all about? I think it's pretty obvious that 2D girls are infinitely better than disgusting 3D girls, but that's a discussion for another time. We're here today to talk about one particular girl, an unpopular girl, and her story that really doesn't matter. That's right, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about the show that has hands down the best girl in any anime ever made, Watamote. If you're into anime at all, chances are you've seen or at least heard of this show. Back in July of 2013, it managed to take the world by storm, getting hailed with praise from just about everyone. What makes it so good? Well, one reason really. The aforementioned best girl, Tomoko Kuroki, who ironically enough is the exact opposite of a sexy anime babe. But if that's the case, then how is she the best girl ever? Well, allow me to elaborate. Tomoko is a 15-year-old girl who's making the transition from middle school to high school, getting ready to embark upon the best years of her young life. One small problem, though. She's a socially challenged introvert who, despite her best efforts, can never seem to change that fact. The entire show focuses on Tomoko trying to blossom into a social butterfly. All she wants is for other people to notice and like her. Nothing more, nothing less. The average episode consists of Tomoko coming up with a certain plan to become popular and then having that plan go horribly wrong in one way or another, most of the time by her own volition. This is what really makes Tomoko's character shine. She's just so damn relatable. Everybody wants to be liked, that's just Psychology 101, and I think it's safe to assume that we've all had some cringeworthy moments while just trying to fit in with the norm. When it's genuinely difficult to watch a fictional character experiencing an incredibly awkward situation, that is the mark of good writing. Some scenes will have you wanting to rip your own hair out just because of how relatably embarrassing they are, and I absolutely love it. As with most underdogs, you'll find yourself rooting for Tomoko, wanting her to break out of her socially awkward shell and get what she wants. Spoilers, this never happens. The show ends the exact same way it began, with Tomoko all alone in her room. No friends, no progress made, nothing has changed. Although it would have been nice to see a happy ending with Tomoko surrounded by new friends, what we got works a lot better with the overarching theme of the show. This entire story really doesn't matter. Anyway, aside from the show sporting one of the best and most adorable main characters in existence, it's also got some other good stuff to offer. The animation quality is very good throughout the entire show, and it does a great job at using color and light to effectively convey tone. Not only that, but the numerous homages to other anime and video games makes for some pretty funny scenes. Soundtrack-wise, I don't really have much to say. I mean, yeah, it's good, but that's pretty much all it is. Good. I know this is a nitpick, but there are usually one or two songs from a show that really manage to stand out above the rest. Not so much in Watamote. But again, what we do have is still pretty nice. Although I would love to continue talking about how Tomoko is one of the greatest characters ever made, I do wish to keep these videos relatively short, around three-ish minutes. So I think it's just time we hopped into my overall thoughts. It's a great show with a great lead. The writers managed to capture a certain style of slice of life so dead on it's a blast to watch. Even though I much prefer story-driven anime to episodic anime, everything in this show just works so well. I definitely recommend giving this a watch if you haven't already. I think just about every single demographic on the planet can relate to Tomoko in one way or another. Thank you all for watching. This is Ouija the God, and I will see you all next time.